How do you view luck? I have a great saying with luck. Luck is the residue of design. <laughs> the harder I work, this is a saying that I came up with. And that, of course, it might have been done many, 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 many years ago. But I, I came up with that. I automatically did it. And down in Texas, Dallas, Texas, I hold three bunker shots in a row. And this big Texan dressed very smartly, which I loved with his cowboy hat. I love the way Texas cowboys dress. And he stood there. And he, he said, oh, and I hold the first one. He said, wow. He says, uh, I'll give you $100 if you can do it again. I said, well, the odds of that are remote. I hold it. He spat out that red man, he said, that's the luckiest damn thing I've seen in my life. And I said, well, I just spontaneously said, well, the harder I work, the luckier I'm going to get. And that's how I started it, really. Luck plays a small part, mm -hmm. but hard work, hard work prevails. Right. What made America such a great country? People got off a boat from Europe with nothing. Okay? I spoke to a man the other day. I was in Philadelphia to see my daughter. He came from Ukraine. He said, I arrived in this country, I had nothing. He says, I couldn't get a job. He says, eventually I found a job. I was getting $25, I don't know, every two days or something. He said, I was able to buy food and get a start. And he says, today I've built up this business and I'm so thankful for this country. He says, I can't believe you wanted to give everybody things for nothing. And you've got to take care of the poor. But I don't think you've got to generalize with people, give them free medicine. And if what? I don't want free medicine. I made a lot of money. I should pay for it. Now, somebody at a certain wage uh, limit, let's say whether it's 70,000, 50,000, or 80,000, a government's got to decide on that where they really need help. Those people should be given free medicine. But everybody in the country? No. That's my philosophy. Maybe I'm talking nonsense. It's my, I'm entitled to my opinion. I don't want free, I don't think you should be all be given free medicine. You've got to have a proper balance. Balance in life is, is very important. Then you think the balance is I think off it's right a complete imbalance. And this cab driver, this driver of a limousine who came from Ukraine said, how can you give these people that don't really need it, that could go out and work, that are able to work, that made America this great country, how can you give them all these things for nothing? But if you fought for a war in this country, if you contributed to this country, you should be taken care of. I think a soldier that comes back, my opinion, comes back from a war, one leg off, fought for this great country, the day he rides back, they should be given $100,000 and they should be given a free small home. To, to, because without them, freedom is gone. And you see, I'm, I'm a great believer, you know, when people say, well, what do you do now in America to get it back to where it was? And I said, well, one significant thing would be to have one year's army service. Hmm. You get away from your little mommy and daddy and from lying and having breakfast in bed and sitting with a computer every day and not greeting people and not standing up when they come in the room and, and just withering away the way you are, low education, where you'd be forced to have discipline, which makes your country. Everybody needs discipline. You can't have any. You think all these businesses are success? You think this business is a success without discipline? Somebody comes to work late every day, kick their ass out of here. Right. You know, but <laughs> a lot of people don't think that matters anymore. Never mind that. You can have pedophiles continuing along the road. Just try and be a pedophile in Singapore or Malaysia or take drugs in Malaysia or Singapore. People call them crazy, but they're right. There are no drugs in Singapore. There are no guns. And I know what a great country this is. But everywhere I go, people say, the Americans are barbaric. That's, that you hear that everywhere you go. And it's so sad for me to hear that. You go to Singapore, I want to be prepared. If you're a drug dealer and you, spend, uh, you, you spread drugs around with young people, you are dead in two weeks' time. They give you a court case, but if you're guilty, you're dead in two weeks' time. So nobody handles drugs. Nobody has a gun. 